CNN has confirmed that American Justin Schultz was one of the 28 people killed in Tuesday's attacks. There is no word on the fate of his wife, Stephanie. The Schultzes are from Tennessee, but have lived in Belgium since 2014. They were reportedly dropping off Stephanie's mother at the airport in Belgium when the attacks took place. Let's bring in CNN senior international correspondent Clarissa Ward, who's in Brussels for more on the developments out of Belgium. Clarissa, thanks for joining us. Let's start with the man arrested Thursday who is now being charged with terrorist murder. What is that charge and what do you know about this man? Well, Jake, what we know so far is he was arrested outside the prosecutor's office on Thursday. He's being identified only as Faisal C, as in the letter C. It's not clear yet what his exact role was, but listen to the charges he's facing. Terrorist murder, participation in terrorist activities, attempted terrorist murder. These are some pretty serious charges that appear to indicate that he likely played a very active role in these attacks. Now, police authorities said that they did search his home. They didn't find any evidence of explosives or weapons. But what we don't know yet is whether or not he is actually one of the two men who have been the focus of the manhunt. The third airport bomber wearing that light jacket and the hat and the glasses who we've seen. And the second metro bomber who police have yet to identify, Jake. All right, Clarissa. And CNN is learning about a Syrian man who may be at the center of the ISIS attacks in Europe. What led authorities to this Syrian man? So French and Belgian authorities are essentially saying the Syrian's man is Naim Hamid. He's a believed to have entered Europe as a refugee through the Greek island of Leros. Again, it's not clear what his role is, but one French investigation source told CNN that they believe he was operationally involved with these Brussels attacks. France's newspaper Le Monde is reporting that his DNA was actually found in the house where the three airport bombers were picked up from last Tuesday. And officials here have warned that he is likely armed and potentially very dangerous.